I recently read The Expectation Effect by David Robson. In World War II, morphine was running low, so many soldiers undergoing surgery were injected with a saline solution and told it was morphine. The placebo turned out to be 90% as effective as the actual drug. In an antidepressant drug trial in Minnesota, a man took all 29 of the pills he'd received and was immediately rushed to the hospital. When he arrived, he was pale, drowsy, and shaking and he had extremely low blood pressure. Doctors spent four hours trying to improve his condition, but couldn't. Then, the doctor from the clinical trial arrived on the scene and told the man that he hadn't taken the active drug and was overdosing on dummy pills. Upon hearing the news, the man made a full recovery. In 2011, psychologist Dan Ariely handed out identical sunglasses to study participants and asked them to read words under the glare of bright light. The group who were told they were wearing expensive Ray-Ban sunglasses read twice as many words correctly compared to the group who thought they were wearing mid-market brand sunglasses. In a similar study, people who thought they were wearing expensive headphones processed more distorted words than people who thought they were wearing cheap headphones. These findings are all examples of what scientists now call the expectation effect. If you happen to love coffee and associate coffee with higher mental acuity, Simply smelling coffee will lead to immediate improvements in mental performance because your mind and body expect caffeine to be coursing through your veins soon. When your mind expects to experience less pain, more pain, better eyesight, worse hearing, or stronger mental acuity, it kickstarts a biological response in your body and tries to get your felt experience to match your expectations. Henry Ford was onto something when he said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. In the book, The Expectation Effect, Author David Robson provides practical ways we can leverage the expectation effect in our lives to improve our daily performance and experience limitless willpower. The first way to leverage the expectation effect is to believe in the power of rituals. Serena Williams bounced the ball exactly five times before her first serve. Rafael Nadal always took a cold shower before his matches. If you think these rituals are a waste of time, think again. Empirical research shows that rituals are powerful performance-enhancing tools. A study in the Journal of Sports Sciences found that elite basketball players are 12.4% more likely to make a free throw if they execute their personal pre-shot ritual than if they deviate from it. In a Harvard psychological study, participants were asked to sing Don't Stop Believing" by Journey and were given $5 if they achieved a perfect pitch score on a karaoke software program. Prior to the test, Half the participants were asked to perform the following ritual. Draw a picture of how you're feeling right now. Sprinkle salt on your drawing. Count to five out loud. Crinkle up your paper. And then throw your paper in the trash. Those who performed that bizarre ritual improved their karaoke pitch score by more than 13 points compared to the control group who did not perform the ritual. When the study was altered so the instructions were labeled as random behaviors instead of a ritual, the performance boost vanished. The word ritual has a powerful effect on the human mind and a profound effect on our subsequent performance. Rituals seem to work because executing a series of deliberate actions generates a sense of self-control and concentration, which establishes an expectation of continued self-control and concentration. After discovering the power of ritual, author David Robson started counting his coffee beans before making coffee for his writing sessions. He says, it imbues my drink with a sense of significance and primes my mind for focused concentration. Before any activity that requires your full concentration, perform a ritual, any ritual, that you believe could boost your performance. Maybe it's repeating your favorite quote or saying a prayer. Maybe it's doing a breathing exercise, like three deep diaphragmic breaths. Or maybe it's listening to the same soundtrack song on repeat. If that soundtrack song gets you to feel like a character in a movie who has heightened abilities, then you've tapped into the second way. The expectation effect can boost your daily performance. When a group of cadets in officer training were given a standard eye test and then asked to go into a flight simulator and told to take the simulation seriously, like a pilot would, they were able to read serial numbers on approaching planes in the simulation that were much smaller than the text on the standard eye test that they had been unable to read. Why could the cadets see better after imagining they were pilots? The cadets expected pilots to have excellent vision, so their minds and bodies did what they could to improve eyesight. You can use this finding by visualizing demanding situations to enhance your abilities. Whatever activity you're about to do, 
Imagine an extreme version of that activity that demands your best self to show up. If you're about to play a chess game with a friend, close your eyes and imagine you're sitting across from world champion Magnus Carlsen, and you need extreme levels of concentration and mental acuity. Before a pickup basketball game with friends, imagine playing one-on-one -on -one with LeBron James and needing the quickness to defend against James' drive. When you go to start the game with your friends, you might play the best basketball of your life. Now the final way to leverage the expectation effect in daily life is to believe that willpower is limitless. Think of a time you finished working on a strenuous mental task and felt energized enough to immediately get to work on the next strenuous task. Or think of a time you resisted a strong temptation, felt strengthened, and found it easier to withstand additional temptation. By recalling a time that work replenished your mental stamina and using your willpower strengthened your willpower, you can dramatically increase your ability to focus and resist distraction. In one study, participants were primed with different willpower beliefs and then asked to complete a Stroop concentration test. That's the game in which you see a word of a color that's in a different color, like the word red colored yellow, and you must select the color you see, not the color you read. Those primed to believe willpower increased with use were twice as accurate as those primed to think that willpower is depleted with use. In study after study, psychologists have found that those who adopt a non-limited view of the mind's resources recover faster after a long and tiring day and achieve greater productivity the following day. In fact, people with a non-limited view of willpower are more productive after demanding days. Believing that willpower is limitless should not give you the green light to work until you collapse. The mind does have a limit, but that limit is much further away than you think, and your ability to recover from an intense focus session can happen much faster than you believe. A great way to start experimenting and leveraging the willpower is limitless expectation effect is to adopt the to then quit ritual. I first learned about this ritual in the book, Superhuman by Habit. Here's how it works. When you're working on a task and you believe you're getting to the end of your willpower limit because you're getting distracted and tired, remind yourself that willpower strengthens with use and push yourself for one more sprint. Then when distraction and mental fatigue return, push yourself one more time and then quit. You'll be pleasantly surprised how much you can get done and how much mental stamina you have in the tank. In the end, David Robinson says, it is possible to push the limits of what we can achieve through a simple change of mindset. Put the expectation effect to work in your life and tap into your full potential by expecting rituals to improve your performance, expecting mental simulations to enhance your abilities, and expecting your willpower and concentration to improve with use. That was the core message that I gathered from The Expectation Effect by David Robson. This book is both fascinating and practical. I highly recommend it. If you would like a one-page PDF summary of insights that I gathered from this book, just click the link below and I'll be happy to email it to you. If you already subscribed to the free Productivity Game email newsletter, this PDF is sitting in your inbox. If you like this video, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching and have yourself a productive week.